Now let's talk about the drawbacks of VDI, and there are a few. So it helps in how you look at it. So you've got a business, and you have uh, a server in your business. This is not a door, this is indeed a server. This is a very expensive piece of equipment. In fact, it's multiple servers. It's not one. There's a lot of equipment you need to buy, and generally speaking, you're not gonna have it. It's gonna be brand new to be able to run all of this VDI. If you have dozens or hundreds of computers in this business, you've got to buy bigger, better, and more of the equipment needed that runs all of these. And this is a lot of upfront costs, what we call CapEx costs, that takes uh, a large chunk of your cash flow and sticks it into equipment. Um, and it also affects your balance sheet. So, Generally speaking, there are some statistics out there that says a VDI implementation can take nine months or a year. You may get your ROI nine months to a year, right? More recent studies show that can be closer to three to five years. So this can be very, very expensive. There's also networking equipment that's required too. So try to think of it like this. If you don't have VDI, your network internally is going to have this kind of a capacity. Right? If you have VDI and you have some power users on there, on a day where a lot of files are being used, let's say video files, your capacity could be like that one day and like that the rest of the week or the month. Then one day it goes up like this and that. You have to buy this equipment for this that you may use once a month in a business, not for this. So you really have to plan around that. Another drawback of VDI is that to be able to use VDI, you have to virtualize the apps, right? So you have to virtualize the apps inside of this, of this server. There are some apps out there that can't be virtualized. Uh, one of the most popular ones is the AS400. Uh, it's a system used by a number of people. It's a legacy system. It's older. It's made by IBM. But that's an example uh, of one. It's an ERP that really can't be virtualized. You can't use VDI with that. The local area network, we've already talked about a little bit. It's got to be pristine. It's got to be updated. And it's got to be able to handle this amount of capacity. Another drawback of VDI is the ability to work off network. This means that when you're not connected, with true VDI, you're not able to access your desktop. So uh, what that means is that you have to always have wireless, which in today's day and age really isn't a big deal, right? I mean, if you're on an airplane, if you're at a coffee shop, you're on the top of a mountain, you can usually get you know, wireless or at least, at least a cell phone reception, right? Now, there are ways to work off network where you can, um, you can save things to your desktop, right? And then um, when you connect back up, it syncs. That is possible with VDI. Many of you know that with Dropbox and Box and things like that. But that gets rid of a, of a lot of the security benefits of VDI that we're going to be talking about later. When you're syncing, those security benefits are now gone. Another issue of VDI is that when you're working on a computer, and there's a bug with your computer, let's say a virus on your computer, and your computer goes down, you're the only computer out of all hundred of these computers that have gone down. Work still keeps going within that company. But if your server goes down, if your VDI apparatus, if that goes down, and it's not backed up, every computer in this facility is shot. Your business shuts down. So uh, you have to be sure, one, that there's a lot of redundancy that's built in here and that you've got the top equipment. And finally, and the most important part of all of this, is this is very complicated. Managing all this, managing these servers, managing the network, managing all the desktops, managing the security, there's a lot that goes into that. And you have to be an expert in VDI. Now, we've already talked about this. This takes people, specialized people, and it takes money to pay these people to keep this updated. So keep, these, um, keep all of these downsides of VDI, specifically on-prem VDI, 
keep these all in mind as um, you think about how you speak about this with your customer.